Greetings everyone, Adrian here with another Reller 3 replay. This time it's a 5 free for all. Spawn on the north side as the Scion Soviet player. We have sniped to hell as the blue allies. We have Gusa. Spawn on the south side as the orange allies. We have Don Frey. Spawn on the right side as the green Soviet. We have Zeo Laminor. And so on the other right side is the red Soviets. We have E1 to A2. So was that? It's one, two, three Soviets, two allies. So it's like we're gonna go in allies' favor. Allies OP. Does get a nice little bark there and ate the bear. Allies OP. <laughs> I'm kidding. That, that was just a good part. We do got a Crusher Crane coming on out. <clears throat> and looks like he has two combat engineers. He does get a roar off the Scion Bear. Red's trying to get a roar off, but nope. He does fall back. He has uh, engineered also here to capture up the observation post, which would be good just for general spotting. And a free for all is you want to look to your left and right neighbor. It can get pretty messy though if one person teams up against uh, two people teams from the same person. So this game could go anyway. Green has gone for fast expansion center. Green's also gone for Crusher Crane. Red has not gone for Crusher Crane. Over here, Orange has gone for an air base. Only one ore refinery at the moment. Does buy a second ore refinery now. Blue has got an ore refinery's barracks. Oral Derek and going for the observation post himself. And he could try creeping out towards this uh, refining location here. So green's going for uh, aggressive eco while the other is going a bit more defensive. Scion's also deployed up another refinery up here. Looks like he also got some bears, or just a bear, just trying to keep this area secure. He does spot the... We'll kill off the dog right there. Making the ATF proud. We do have a tier you a tier two conyard right here. So he probably has to go and get some crowdcopters out. Though he is out of range. Although all sides are just being very, very aggressive. It's a Mexican standoff. All of them don't want to attack each other because they'll get retaliated by all the other players. It's one of the dangers about FFA. It's like you don't know what you should do sometimes. Most orange is gonna be aggressive. Cryocopters and Vindicators are quite good at being aggressive, and since the aircraft can quickly go back home, I would try actually perhaps freezing the whole ore refinery at that rate. But there's actually a lot of good targets right here. No flak turret. Does boil a flak turret now. And Mage just wanna. Oh, he's still... the cryocopter still getting hit. The cryocopter was barely stay alive. I'm going to use this last bomb on to this one here. Green's also expanded out to these two other locations. So he's going for, Green's going for heavy eco play. He's going to need flak turrets everywhere. I heard something captured. I think it's observation post. Uh, he has rebuilt that harvester here. Now he needs to get build, rebuild these other two and pack some flak towers. Oh, we got some javelin troops on the low ground taking out this flak tower. Ooh. And looks like they're not in range of taking on this ore refinery based on their wiggling bugged out state. Oh, we got engineer here. It's not instant capture in this game. Wait, that's an orange MCV right there. 
not a Soviet MCV. We got another testicle coral being deployed on Al. We got this testicle coral here. Green just going very defensive, but skiing turret push at the moment. Go destroy that ore collector. He needs to cancel this Tesla coil and start deploying out for more income. This is still fire refinery. Green is going for a lot of refineries. Oh, and this player has been fully defeated. Looks like he backed out. He has nothing in the area seemed like he killed it, so I think there are some craters here. Maybe he took out the uh, harvesters and backed out like, yep, I've lost. That may have what happened. And now we've got two refineries going on up. One, the science going to be a force to reckon with. Green has a good income as well, but getting constantly harassed. The point out some basic satellites. Motor gunner IFV. Needs a defense force on the ground, that's for sure. Up north, we do got blue is expanding out quite significantly. And orange is basically now getting hit by terror drones because he didn't wall off that uh, uh, refinery. You just leave the terror drone there as well. And that is a terror drone from green. So it did get some nice counter harassment. A pair of engineers are making the advance, loading up inside the IFV. He could try to capture up this base location here. But you got another Tesla coil being deployed? No, he won't be able to capture up this Tesla tower right there. Going for the super reactor. And he does sell off the last moment and gets zapped by the by the Tesla tower, then goes out of power because the power doesn't go away until you the section structure is actually fully gone. Bear does get cleaned up by a dog. Green is just being pushed out to sea, deploying out multiple regular reactors. And also got Scion pushed to some turret pushing of his own onto Green. Green is... His days are numbered at this rate. He's getting double teamed. The only way he can be saved if Blue starts pushing Orange and Scion, or Orange starts pushing Scion. Low in power. Green to space is... He has two refining locations. His orange is now just using engineers. In which, that's properly timed, so I think he may... Does not get the ore collector right there. I thought he would. But he claims himself an ore collector from the Soviet player. And starts building ore collector now. So Green's gonna be pushed out. He does get some minor air force. He has one refining location. That's all he has. What would I do if I was Green? Sell off all the inf all of he has on base, or ooh, uh, crushing these uh, ore collectors would be good. And then sell off the crusher crane. And then from out on base, deploy a naval dockyard, deploy out a second MCV. Yes, I would do a second MCV and start just setting up and trying to find a new refining location. But not selling off these structures a big oversight. This is going to be a, now down to a 3 be, uh, three for all soon. I Green's just basically is gone. Cyan's now getting hit simply. We've got some satellites coming in from Cyan. This is in general. Blue's Science MCB does get one, two, three crushes. And he's Scion also got his own refinery captured right there. But that uh ore collector is Scion. Doesn't get any crushes right there. Do got another Barracks come out by Scion. We do got Apollo here. I'm not sure where the MIGs wave went. He may have lost them. Foolishly. No, 
Elbows are going for a cryo shot there. He should be able to freeze the Tesla re reactor. Not the Tesla reactor, the reactor. But won't get the Tesla coil. There's going to be eyeing to clear out that garrison with these peacekeepers. And as we're finding location still blue and not cyan. And there's also that cyan ore collector right there. Which he probably should crush it or try to recapture this uh, location. Yeah, he's just going to destroy it, so might as well crush the ore collector. And Green's just going to do a mass sell off. He sells his MCV here and didn't sell off the super reactor. What's he planning? Is he just donating his... Oh, he just donated his uh, con yard, and there goes Green from the game. So now Orange has access to two technologies. And Blue and Blue are currently gaining. That's a lot of Twin Blades and MiGs. We'll find some Javelin troops right there. If I was Orange, I'd have to go for a pair of super weapons. Probably a horrible idea. At least get the Iron Curtain and Chronosphere. Both of those are very powerful items and worth getting. Not necessarily the back imploder and proton collider. Blue does have sizable force here, just needs a whole lot of anti aircraft, that's for sure. The world Derek blew up the dog. And his oral deck will go down as well. There's still a field hospital in the center of the map. It's sizable naval force pushes way forward, and this oral refiner does get cleaned up. The even though it's satellites, it's way overkill. Got this ore collector is being sieged. Blue's force is coming on forward. We'll run straight into the air force, and that is a lot of multi gunner IFBs, but that's a lot of twin blades. If they're in aggressive sense, they can still start firing rockets while moving, if I remember correctly. I don't think they are. He's gonna lose a lot of twin blades, but he should clean up his ground army if he focus fires at the multi gunners. Blue's ground army has been cleaned up by Scion's Air Force. Scion's original base is going down. That's a lot of walls. That's going to be over... Uh, that's not a whole lot of overkill. There's a good number of Hydra Foles out at sea, so if he launches assault on, against the naval force, he will lose a lot. EMP missile does connect, including even the super reactor. This super reactor will clear out a lot of those walls. Orange is still building. He has a Soviet MCV down here as well. I'm not sure if he's gone for any infrastructure for the Soviet MCV. I know he has at least an ore refinery. Super reactors, a uh, super reactor wouldn't be half bad either. Just give a whole bunch of power. Orange could just take time to expand while Scion and Blue duke it out. This is Super Reactor was sold, so no mass wall destruction. There goes that airfield. It doesn't have an airport. We've got a massive swell of Okulo subs. And if you start engaging the hydrofoils of Ultra Torpedoes, he should be able to quickly take them out. Yep, now would be a good time to use Ultra Torpedoes. Good Ultra Torpedoes to count none of those Hydro Poles in the first volleys. And there goes all half of that fleet. So 
some of these close-ups are a bit wounded. There goes that refining location. Hydrofoils are still very much alive, and there's weapon jammers. Sion's Air Force is still significant. He's not sent in, not aware that he has a really good air advantage. Sows off all that base location. Oh no, he just literally just sold off everything. He's backing out of the game. Wow. Now it's just Orange and Cyan. There is a Soviet super reactor there. If it goes for a uh, Iron Curtain, that wouldn't be half bad. Orange has a good number of dolphins. He's hitting uh, Cyan's super reactor, not super reactor, battle lab. Does take it out there. Could hit the super reactor next. Or a super reactor. He has to be very careful because he's going to blow up his entire, entire army right there. He's going to blow up his entire army. And it just says somebody else got defeated. That made him blue. Science Air Force is demolishing Orange's uh, infrastructure on the ground. A handful of Apollos are in the air, but they need more. It's actually a great time for actually digs with the amount of uh, stacks there are, because it makes new splash damage. Some handful of multi counter IFBs and a full of Mirage tanks. Tries to freeze the Air Force, but he can't freeze the Air Force. And there's enough of the multi counter IFBs that are left alone for far too long, and there goes Scion's Air Force. Scion still has plenty of naval forces as well. Here comes an uh, orange airfield, a Soviet airfield. He has dual technology available, and perhaps maybe throw a crusher crane somewhere on the far side of the map. I number dolphins. This is a lot of cool subs. This base location is going to go down to all those cool subs. Fresh Battle Lab being deployed in the center of the map. Those things are running a little, little low on income. Their original refinery locations are not dry. More depleted. Paradrome connects. Dolphins and torpedoes. I wonder what explosion sound they make. Needs to retarget this dolphin, hit some of those wounded guys. And there goes all the dolphins. Most of the Soviet infrastructure infrastructure starting to be cleaned on up. He may this a cool this uh, super reactor could do some serious damage. Oh he just lost half of a cool subs to that. Oh more like a third, but still a uh, horrendous amount. Maybe could we put these on aggressive. Mordegon is pushing the way forward, supporting the prism tanks, the mirage tanks. There's going to be a handful of uh, prism cans given to these hammerheads. The beam does connect as well. The heroic prism cannon does go down. There's still this heroic prism cannon. Athena does go down, and there's now Athena cannon hammerhead tank. But a lot of science army's gone. So there's a huge number of a pool of subs. Could see ink effect. And sells off all the Soviet infrastructure. And don't think he deployed our crusher crane. The pool of subs don't pose any threat to the land bases. And we do got now a single prism tank pushing his way through, destroying all this infrastructure. What took all those cool subs to do is being done by one prism tank and voiding the Tesla Tower as well. 
Scion has a base in the center, has MCV packed up as well. Ooh, there's Apocalypse tanks. This Mirage tank needs a reverse move out of there. But now these three Apocalypse tanks are just able to wreak havoc on the base infrastructure. Do we see a spy? Nope, Javelin troops. Could try to do some laser lock. They're a bit slow, so laser locks are possible. Let's take out the Prism tank there. There's an elite Apocalypse tank. Looks like going for some crushes. Let's get one there. Using the Harpoon to get some good damage on that structure. But the prison tank will get a lot of free shots into its side because it takes a long time for the harpoon to take, get a kill. And does get the kill on all the apocalypse tanks. Orange infrastructure is gutted, so is Scions. The rogue prison tank does go down. Kulas should just be spread out to every single naval location and just camp them. There's nothing more they can do. Looks like he's going to be doing that. More Apocalypse tanks now streaming on in. This almost like it feels like a single player campaign at the moment. We've got Athena Cannon on the high ground. Does take out one of them. And get a full burst right there. And there goes another... Uh, apocalypse tank Just trying to deal with all the javelins two apocalypse one severely wounded but veteran scions i just to expand across the center of the map apocalypse tanks dealing with space location the original orange base location Still a number of watchtowers, so Orange has really good vision across the entire area. He probably knows all, well, all locations that his opponent uh, has. What is Orange's income at the moment? Orange is floating. No, that's... That's... Yeah, Orange has 15,000. He needs to spend it. He needs more everything. Construction vehicle at your service. While his opponent has a decent chunk, but that can be spent quickly. These war factors should be producing constantly. Hell, just even multi gunners. I know he's packed up his MCV, right? Did he pack up his MCV? Where is that? He needs... He just needs to queue up uh, a whole bunch of heavy vehicles. Does get that one uh, infected and does not infect the other one. Does clean up that terror drone there. Heroic Athena cannons have ripped apart this base. He also got some of these small strike forces being also known as well. These small strike forces are sometimes hard to deal with. Just being sent everywhere. It takes a lot of taxing micro. Does take out that uh, apocalypse. The yeah, apocalypse is now starting to spend out a lot of stuff. Looks like also can be canned for cryocopters as well. That Athena cannon is drifting. And likely you'll lose this Athena cannon. Does harpoon that uh, prison tank, mirage tank, same difference. He does get this heroic Athena cannon infected as well. 
lot of veterancy on these Athenas, and that's just a lot of Athenas. This terror drone has a lot of juicy targets there, and does not get cleaned up. And that's a mass spam. He only need to do one. And does infect the next one. Apollo's now coming on in. He knows about the... And infected. This is definitely a lower rank FFA. That's for sure. And there goes the last of the Athena cannons getting infected. It does have a guarding tank, and there's two more <laughs> terror drones. They're clearly being effective. Heroic Apocalypse Sinks now charging on Ford. Terror, this uh, Peacekeeper could take up both these guys, but nope, the bear kills the Peacekeeper. Yep, if Blue gets out some Dreadnoughts, this was out another MCV. If it deploys out a Dreadnought and just start bombarding the infrastructure, that's probably a good idea. Some of these ore refiners have come close to depletion. This one is depleted. That one's almost depleted. Looks like it's just going to go for mass airfield, going for mass twin blades. Only a handful of motor gunner IVs. Garrison's loaded up with probably motor gunner IVs. He even still has one bullfrog. I didn't think he built a Soviet War Factory, so he does have actually a bullfrog to use. A lot of easy freeze targets here. Does he have Surgical Strike? Sure, that's annoying, but not really doing all too much. Finds his MCV, so he actually deployed our second MCV. And he actually gets frozen and killed. Caradrone did pop out, but I think got killed. Yep. More of the space infrastructure going on down. Dude got some riptides pushing the way forward. Does manage to destroy the frozen Tesla Tower. And here comes the MiGs. Massive splash damage ripping them apart. But this refining location does go down. Does go that terror drone does go down to the riptide. These riptides just pouring on in to a whole bunch of 50 cals. They are 50 cals, right? Might as well be. Ooh, you got some uh, steam rays. And they're starting to eat these things one at a time, which is perfect for him. And they're not in the sea, so don't get a torpedo attack. Hopefully crush, cr Crusher Crane's that. Because, like, Crusher Craning the ore collectors give, what, 1,050? Yep. It does give a huge refund, and that's where most of the value is when you build a, a refinery. You can sell it off for, what, 500? You crush the collector, you get 1,050. 
So make sure you crush those collectors if they go down, if they're finding that the go with goes down. We got some dolphins. Gets really spotted by this Akuro sub. It's very wounded, so the dolphins will be able to clean it up. And now got fully heroic dolphin. Crushing all the Akuro subs. That's actually a good idea. He should have done that a long time ago. I didn't think about that, but I was thinking about put a sub next to every single uh, refinery location just to deny them from being used. Some CDs not getting hit, but we'll be saved by the Air Force. Actually, no, it may not be saved. It will be very, very close. And then if he does go down, he still has a crusher crane, he still has the naval dockyard. Orange has secured the land. Blue Asian has what's left of the sea. Let's go quick, quick look at each other's income. Orange has spent all of his income. Scion has a small reserve. But Cyan does have a very good sized air force. Go aggressive, take up the motor gunner IFVs. Avoid blowing yourself up on the super reactor. That's very important. Okay, didn't blow himself up on the super reactor. But that also de depowers everything. He needs just to attack, destroy all the motor gunners. But no, his base is going down. But a good number of the dolphins went down there as well. The naval dockyard's still up. Oh, got a time bomb. Let's get a level one time bomb. It does take up the naval dockyard. The crush crane is still alive. He's also, also this uh, refining location here. So losing this will not end the game. It will just severely, severely hurt him. Looks like he has built enough power. There's a wounded power plant there. He has to attack. Just attack. He needs to start destroying stuff. He knows it's come. He needs to stop building stuff in the airfield. Start building a naval dockyard. Naval dockyards are cheap and perhaps go for another MCV. Does he have build radius over here? Maybe go for an ore refinery. Does not clean that up. Does have infrastructure here quite a bit. He doesn't have to worry about the garrison on the low ground. But perhaps maybe also once he gets done with the airfield, go for the power plants. That's cheap, simple, and hurt a lot from losing all of them. Does lose the MCV here. No more dolphins, it looks like. This uh, handful of uh, stingers are on the field as well. Any infrastructure here? No. I think Orange is out of the infrastructure. No more production facilities. He has to solely rely on Athena Cannon and a Riptide. These structures are not very well healed, and there's two uh, twin blades here. He's going to have to angle it. Uh, nope. Does he have anything to go out on the water? He does have another Riptide right here. But Stingers are in defensive formation. He's going to need to take them out, but I don't think he has anything. He can't use protocols since he doesn't have an MCB. I think that's game. Can't use prospectors. Huh, Zion still has a refinery right there, and Orange is back to all the game. Oh, well, that was an interesting game. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.